When I was on my bike, it did give me an amazing sense of freedom. And nobody could touch me and nobody could stop me. It just sort of empowered me. My name is Elspeth Beard and I'm the first British woman to go around the world on a motorbike. When I was 23, I rode my bike around the world for just over two years. I left in 1982, travelling 35,000 miles through 20 countries. In those days, it didn't even occur to anybody for a second that it, it would be a woman riding a bike. So when I was actually riding the bike and I was fully dressed in all my gear, I felt quite safe. Australia was so weird in the outback. I would ride for sort of three or four hundred miles with nothing. You'd come to a roadhouse and you'd walk into this bar and literally it was like a sort of scene from a film. You know, everybody would just kind of stop dead. They'd all turn around and look at you. And in some places they didn't even serve me. So I'd go outside and drink water from a tap. I did find the whole trip quite isolating and I got incredibly lonely. I would pick up mail every three months and that was the only contact I had with home and friends and family. But then it was great. I'd rush to the post office. It was a really, you know, I used to love it. And I'd get this whole stack of letters and I'd get like three months news and I'd, and I'd go somewhere and I'd sit there for, for hours just reading through all this, savouring all of the news. One of the travellers that I met was a Dutch guy called Robert. It suddenly became almost a holiday from what it had been when I was travelling on my own. We met in Kathmandu. We travelled together through Rajasthan, up through Kashmir, Leh and Ladakh. And it was actually up in Kashmir that we fell in love. Iran was at war with Iraq. There were lots of tanks and soldiers and there were roadblocks every 50 or 100 miles. We had this ridiculous situation where we'd changed dollars on the black market. We got five and a half times what we would have got. But we would go to these Western hotels and we'd be sh shoo out of the door. No, 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 you can't stay here. Can't. As if they were frightened that we would be seen. And a lot of the time we would be sleeping on the side of the road. Some countries I couldn't even get maps for because they just didn't exist. I used to have to go to these kind of tourist places and just get little local maps and I had to kind of join them all up so I could kind of work out where the hell I was trying to go. Getting lost and finding your way again is part of the adventure. Whereas if you are following a red line on a screen, all those opportunities don't exist. They're sort of taken away. The trip completely changed me as a person, completely. You really are pushed to the absolute limit and it makes you grow. It just makes you stronger and you know, and you can take anything on.